The Nissan 370Z is old, as in over a decade old. In fact, the new Z has already been unveiled in other countries with the styling cues that go back to the 240Z. Now, before that new Z arrives on our shores, if it does, uh, we will check out this Nissan 370Z Premium Automatic and see if it has what it takes to become a future classic. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I invite you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well sit back, relax, click that like button and enjoy the show. Also special thanks to Nissan Motor Philippines for lending me the 370Z Premium for a few days to experience a JDM legend. Now before we begin guys, if you find this video useful, clicking that super thanks button will also be highly appreciated. Now the 370Z that we have here is a 2020 model since 2020 was the last production year for the 6th generation Nissan Z. Now this my friends is a, it's an old car that can be bought brand new from the dealership which if you think about it actually adds to its allure. You see old school car enthusiasts out there will tell you about the hassles of owning and maintaining an old school ride. Electrical issues, uh, lack of parts availability, and lack of convenience features, to name a few of them. Now, all of those concerns and hassles will melt away the moment that they hop into the driver's seat of their old school ride and take it out for a spin. Now friends, the Nissan 370Z will also give you that warm feeling that driving an old school car will give you, but without the hassles of an old school ride. You see, a brand new Nissan 370Z from the dealership will come with a three year factory warranty. Plus of course, it still has plenty of parts availability. Now the, the, the cost of entry for this soon to be JDM legend is around 2,879,000 Philippine pesos, which if you think about it, is a pretty decent price for a future classic. Now some people say that the 370Z looks dated, but I say that it looks unique and period correct. You see, there's no denying that this 370Z can still turn a lot of heads with its unique boomerang shaped HID headlight units here and a pair of LED DRLs for added modernity. Now in my opinion friends, this 370Z is still the sharpest looking Z in its entire history and that also includes the upcoming new Z. The side profile of the 370Z will show you just how short the wheelbase is which tells me that it's really meant for attacking corners. You see, a shorter wheelbase makes it more tossable around the turns. So yes, this 370Z is all about having handling fun around the twisties and around corners. Now guys, everything about this is really just about handling because we do get a, a double wishbone front suspension and an independent multi-link rear suspension here. Now the 370Z also has a limited slip differential as standard even in this automatic trim and we also have a carbon composite drive shaft which allows for faster revs. 
Now, braking duties is handled by a four-piston sport brakes up front and a two-piston brake setup at the back, uh, while the wheels and tires are, well, if you'll notice, they are 19-inch race engineering lightweight alloy wheels, and they are set in a staggered setup. Now, as for the, the ground clearance of the 370Z, well, it rides at 125 millimeters, which, if you think about it, is kind of low, uh, but if you look at the front overhangs, well, we have a, a shorter front overhang there when you compare it to, let's say, the Nissan GTR. So yes, going up a steep parking ramp is going to be doable as long as you take it nice and easy. If the front end is unique to the 370Z, well, hot damn, this rear end right here is unmistakable. You see, the LED taillights follow the same design as the headlight units up front, and we also have a stock rear spoiler here, which helps to generate with downforce. Now, there's a pair of functional exhaust pipes there, and uh, as for its sound, well, you guys be the judge. <laughs> As you heard guys, well, it is decent, although I feel that it lacks a little bit of oomph. So yes, if it were up to me, I'd uh, probably replace these uh, stock exhausts with some juicier aftermarket bits. Now when you pop open the, the trunk of this 370Z, you will get here a wide yet shallow space. Now Nissan says that this is around 200. 237 liters of a space uh, which can fit a couple of carry-ons or if you're persistent maybe even fit an actual golf bag the Nissan 370z is the last Z uh, to get a naturally aspirated v6 engine so if you are an all-motor fan and turbos don't float your boat then this, my friend, is your last viable choice uh, if you want to purchase brand new. You see, this 3.7 liter V6 engine puts out 327 horsepower and 363 newton meters of torque. Now, power is sent to the rear wheels via a 7-speed automatic transmission in this, in this 370Z Premium. Although, there is a base spec 370Z available that comes with a 6-speed manual transmission. Now, as for this automatic version, well, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour times can be done in 5.6 seconds. And as for the fuel economy, well, if you have a relatively light throttle foot, which I don't have, well, you could still get around 9 to 9.5 kilometers per liter on the highway. Uh, but then, if you do that, my friend, where's the fun in that, right? Guys, one area of the 370Z that will truly appeal to old-school car enthusiasts is the cockpit. You see, this cockpit is period correct. It's very 2010s, except for that Blapong infotainment system there, which thankfully has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, this Blapong infotainment system also powers an 8-speaker Bose setup, which uh, actually sounds pretty good. I mean, guys, listen to this. Listen to that. Uh-huh. Made for a Bose? It has some pretty good amounts of a uh, bass and the clarity of the of the highs is also pretty decent. Now I want to thank my cousin for mixing this copyright free music for me to test out the well the audio system of the 370Z. All right, let's turn that off. Now guys, if you compare the cockpit of this 370Z to let's say newer sports cars in the price category like let's say my own Mazda MX-5 Miata or the Subaru BRZ uh, then you will say that this 370Z lacks convenience and tech features. The thing is guys you didn't get into the driver's seat of the 370Z to experience convenience and tech features because that my friends is exactly why the new Z is here. I mean, that's why the new Z is for, because it's a more convenient sports car now. 
You see, you get behind the wheel of a Nissan 370Z to experience an analog driving experience to test out your driving skill on a proper muscle-bound rear-wheel drive V6 sports car. I mean, this is a, an analog driving experience that a lot of car makers are trying to replicate with their modern cars nowadays. Uh, but yeah, there's really nothing that compares to the real thing. And uh, speaking of driving, guys, let's take this Japanese muscle car out for a quick spin just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now I said that this is a Japanese muscle car because friends, that is exactly what it is. You see, it has brute power, it has rear wheel drive, and it has a relatively porky curb weight of nearly 1,600 kilos. Now, to put things in perspective, uh, the new Subaru BRZ has a curb weight of around 1,300 kilos, while my 2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata has a curb weight of 1,050 kilos. Now, nearly 1,600 kilograms is nearly like the same curb weight as a Toyota Fortuner. Now guys, it makes me wonder where all of that weight uh, went to. Uh, because this Nissan 370Z uh, has an aluminum hood it has aluminum panels. Uh, heck, it even has uh, an aluminum engine block to help, help it save on its weight. Uh, but yeah, for a two-seater sports car from Japan, yes, yeah, nearly 1,600 kilos in curb weight, that is really quite porky. Now, you can feel that, that weight uh, all around the car. It feels substantial when you're driving it and it feels it feels kind of heavy uh, when you're just um, you know, just uh, toodling around town uh, when you're accelerating that heft is also felt as well as when you're braking and even when you're cornering now that my friends is the reason why i call this a japanese muscle car now the Nissan 370Z is one of the last remaining brand new cars that you can buy here in the Philippines for 2022 uh, that comes equipped with a hydraulic power steering system. Now that hydraulic steering system also adds to that feeling of heft of this car and for me, it's a big advantage. You see, when you're driving a sports car uh, that has a V6 engine, it would be great to have a hefty steering feel to give you more control over the vehicle. Now, the other sports cars out there now come with an electric power assist system and they are trying their best to, to replicate that steering feel of a hydraulic steering system. Uh, but yeah, some come close, like my Mazda MX-5, uh, but Nothing beats the real thing, my friends. Now, this steering is also really sharp and that heft, that, that feeling of control over this vehicle, yeah, it just reminds me of the, you know, of the sports cars from the 90s, like the 1995 Mazda RX-7 Bathurst that I reviewed a few years back, or even, let's say, a Mark IV Toyota Supra. No, these are the these are the characteristics of a vehicle that a lot of enthusiasts are looking for, and I'm happy to see that yeah, despite being an outgoing generation, this uh, 370Z it still gives you that experience. Now, despite that that heft, that weight, well, this 370Z with its V6 power can accelerate like like a bat out of hell guys Woo. see that Woo. oh yeah you know i would have loved to try out a manual transmission 370z but this this seven speed automatic it's pretty darn good 
it's not as quick as the dual clutch of the GTR or some of the newer shifters out there. But it double downshifts. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> and it can really put down the power. Now, the thing is, when you go up to triple digit speeds, it doesn't feel like you're at you're at triple digit speeds. You know, at the speed limit of 100, it feels like you're just traveling at 60. And that's partly because of that, that heft, that weight. See, if you take it up to, theoretically, theoretically, to 200, uh, 200 just feels like 120 in this thing. And that's because it has like, really wide tires and it also has that low gr ground clearance and of course uh, that that curb weight that nearly 1600 kilos worth of curb weight so it it adds to the stability of this vehicle uh, despite being such a small sports car of course the handling of the 370z is really really good as well i mean <laughs> This thing is meant to t tackle corners like this. See, let's accelerate through this corner. And as you can see, well, it handles like it's on rails. And you wouldn't even have, you know, any second thoughts. The confidence level on corners of the 370Z is superb. It's really high, tap on the brake, take this corner a little bit faster than usual and yes wow this thing is sticky af <laughs> i love it Woo! oh yeah and i love that we're doing this on this highway there are no cars around and yes we can take corners even at a hundred which is fantastic or more <laughs> now i did mention that the exhaust sound is not really inspiring but friends after hearing this 370c accelerate dude yeah that v6 motor up front is all the sound that i need the sound of that engine is glorious it is positively glorious and i love it and i wouldn't i don't think i'd even ruin it by you know, by getting an aftermarket exhaust system for this 370Z. I mean, that engine note is perfect. It's perfect, friends. For a V6, it's perfect. Now, I was told that the ride quality of the 370Z would be harsh. Well, harsher than the GTR. Now, that might be the case, but I was pleasantly surprised that it's, the ride quality is normal for a sports car. Now, dude, you cannot expect this vehicle to have a ride quality like a Toyota Camry or a Nissan, a Nissan Altima or something. Because it is still a sports car with a short wheelbase. It's really meant for handling performance. So, yes, the ride quality, it's really good. And VH is also as what you'd expect for, from a sports car. So, it's not really that quiet on the highway. There is highway noise that gets into the cabin but friends yeah it's all just par for the course for a you know, for a fire breathing v6 powered sports car now there are a couple of niggles or inconveniences that i did notice with this 370z which yeah they're they're just minor inconveniences that show me the age of the vehicle first it doesn't have speed sensing door lock so yeah i would have loved to get that uh, because even my older car is like a 2010 Kia Sorento had speed sensing door locks but this 370Z doesn't get that. Uh, second uh, minor inconvenience is we don't have a reverse camera. Now granted it is a quick aftermarket fix that can be done with this uh, Blapunk uh, head unit, this audio system here but it would have been nice to get it from the factory. But other than that guys, well this Nissan 370Z uh, delivers an old school nostalgic driving experience for me uh, because it just lets you focus on the drive itself it doesn't have too much distractions around it it just lets you focus on the steering wheel focus on the road ahead with that big v6 all motor engine up front a rear wheel drive system and well if you were to ask me 
hopefully a six-speed manual transmission, but this seven-speed automatic, well, it still delivers the goods. The Nissan 370Z has a lot of appeal to it, especially for those who appreciate a more analog driving experience. It requires actual skill to drive well and at the limit, but it can be quite comfortable and docile when you're just commuting around town. Now it's true that there are more convenient and newer options out there in its price category, but friends, this Nissan 370Z here has the chops to become an actual JDM legend and a future classic. Thanks for watching.